Hello, this is Dr. Kathy Campbell with Dr. Kathy Health and Medicap Pharmacy at 76th Street in Maine in Owasso, Oklahoma. Uh, I just want to say hello and I'm really proud of everybody of how we're hunkering down for this uh, pandemic, the COVID uh, 2020. It's quite, a, quite, a, quite an event. And so I'm going to share with you, we talked earlier in my earlier video about two strategies, avoid, deactivate, and fortify. So I'm going to uh, now that we're all kind of hunkered in and we're, we're going to be social uh, distancing for quite a while now, washing our hands with alcohol-based, wash your hands with soap and water, doing all the hygiene things that we know to do, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the strategies I'm using for myself and my family with regard to the fortification. Uh, do check with your pharmacist and your physician to make sure these are appropriate for you. Do your own research. Food first. Uh, and so we're going to go over some of the supplementation or food strategies to help fortify you and make sure you're one of the 80% that are going to fly through this with no problem. Okay, so fortification. First and foremost, we know vitamin D helps with um, fighting virus, just helps the immune system fight virus. I like vitamin D with a K somewhere in your, whether it be your multivitamin, we need vitamin D and K. Sunlight, remember, is a great way to get vitamin D. So as you're social isolating, that doesn't preclude sitting out in a nice sunny day, okay? Sitting outside. We like vitamin A. Vitamin A has a critical function in the immune system as well. And the other way to get that is through our food, our orange foods, our colored foods. So your carrots, your uh, eggs have a good amount of vitamin A, tomatoes, sweet potatoes. So make sure when you're at the grocery store that you're grabbing a lot of these uh, very therapeutic and delicious foods. Vitamin C. I like C in a complex form, not just the ascorbic acid that we often see. That's why I love lemons, limes. We've got peppers have a huge amount of vitamin C in them, uh, but the whole citrus. And I like quercetin. There's some good information around quercetin fighting viruses as well. So a C complex food is the best, and I like the particularly the citrus that have very low amounts of sugar or fructose in them. Tocotrienols uh, are a class that vitamin E is included in. It's a very specific type, but it really does help the membranes of your cells uh, have good integrity. Uh, Anato, rye, and oats are a couple ways to get that. N-acetylcysteine, NAC. It is a very interesting product. Cysteine is a sulfur based and it produces, it's the precursor, the chemical that's right before our strongest antioxidant, which is called glutathione. All those onion, garlic, anything that smells like rotten eggs has a lot of sulfur in it. And that is really good to help your body create a lot of antioxidants. So when you're making that big pot of chicken soup, Onions, garlics, eggs, poultry, your cruciferous vegetable, vegetables, which are your broccoli, your um, cauliflower, your Brussels sprouts, all have a great amount of sulfur-rich N-acetylcysteine. Zinc. Zinc is a mineral that we know helps the immune system fight. Uh, part of why the COVID virus seems to be uh, impacting us is through this zinc mechanism. So you don't want to overdose on zinc, but you do want to make sure you're having plenty of zinc in either your diet or in a supplement form. Niacinamide is an important B vitamin that helps within the cell oxidize and those free radicals can kill the virus. So vitamin B3 is a particular one that's jumping out as a potential support within this uh, strategy. Spirulina is a natural product that helps compete with the virus, and we're hoping spirulina wins. And then AHC is an active hexose correlate compound. That's a fancy term for a five-ring sugar carbohydrate. Beta-glucose is, or beta-glucan is a glucose carbohydrate. We find these in medicinal mushrooms and oats. And they, they are very immune boosting. A lot of good science around that. Again, green tea has an amazing uh, amount of chemistry that supports the immune system. Uh, melatonin 
is um, made with sleep. And if you're, that's why we've got to get nine hours, eight or nine hours of good sleep so our body will have plenty of melatonin. It is a chemical that is used in the entire function of the body in a lot of different ways. If you're having trouble with sleep, that may be something that we would moderately supplement. And then good old water. We really, 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 I can't stress enough, need to be hydrated. Hydrated, and I like warm liquids right now. Uh, remember, water is oxygen, okay? And deep within ourselves, we need a lot of oxygen. So if we're short in water, we're short in a lot of what the body needs to function. So these are just a few of my strategies. Feel free to dig in, understand them. Give us a call if we can support you with that. We're Medicap Pharmacy at 76th and Main. You can also go to my website, um, Dr. Kathy Says, S -A -Y -S .com. We have more information about these products, but also we're here for you. So you're doing a great job. I know at the pharmacy we've closed the front and we're serving people out of the back and it's just been really great. We're getting ready to have a pretty interesting next two weeks, but no, we're here for you. Uh, stay well, stay isolated, uh, stay connected. Thank goodness we've got technology to help us with that uh, and get outside. Talk to you soon. Take care. Be well.